What's up everyone, Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California, and we're gonna do another breakdown here today on Aaron Rodgers. Now that we're getting back into the swing and doing these breakdowns, you know, one of the big things that I, I wanna go in and do is really put a, a big focus on some of the things that I see is a big difference between someone like Aaron Rodgers in comparison to a lot of the quarterbacks that we get with our, our breakdowns. And what I, the, the thing to focus on here with the breakdown is, is how to create that explosive power. And so when we watch Aaron Rodgers here and, and watch how he's able to create that explosive power, first I'll go with like the regular speed, boom. And what's, you know, what's so great about his throw is just how fast he's able to get the ball out of his hands. I mean, that's the the big thing that everyone always talks about is just, you know, how much of a just pure passer he is. You can just see how good that looks. So now we'll go and, and break it down. And, and the big thing that's so unique about him and, and how he throws is that front leg and how he creates that, that rotation with that front hip. So notice how when he goes and he steps and, and how his feet, you know, both of his feet, and we can kind of zoom in here, are he's on the balls of his feet, right? Here on, on both feet, he, he's in a a position where he's, he's really or, or even on his toes right and then look as he's going so he's very the point being he's very tall he's very very upright right most all of his force or all of his body is pushing himself upwards and then as he comes through the throw he really gets a lot of generation a lot of force out of those hips and notice how the hips lead it Right, the first thing that opens up is that that the hips, and look at how explosive those hips are. Look at how they're going from here to really turning and creating a lot of a lot of force there. And what he does as he's pushing forward with off of his back leg, he's also pushing to the outside and down with his left leg. Look at how his left foot goes, and he kind of pulls his left foot out to the side as he's pulling his whole body through the actual throw. Hopefully you guys can see that. We can back up a little bit to make it so it's a little bit more clear. So see how, how he's pulling that left foot and it moves over to the side as he's also pulling his hips, as he's pulling his left arm. Everything is happening at, the, at that same moment, right? First, he gets the hips going, but then there's a, a legit moment where he goes from here and it then pulls everything through, pulls that left, really pulls his left hand to his right chest and he pulls that left leg down over to the side he pulls his body through and as he's doing that he's creating all that force into the throw and that's where all that explosive power really comes from when he's generating his throw is is when he, he's going through it he's just creating a lot of really ground force during the movement we'll go from this side now and same thing look at look at how he goes and he has so much weight on on really his going upwards right he's, he's all of his weight is up as he's going through look how he even raises his body raises up and then he uses that upward momentum to then pull himself back during the throw and again you can see how that that left foot is moving off to the side and he's creating all that rotation within the throw and then also pulling back with that left shoulder and as he goes through look at watch how he moves his arm here where he goes back back and then he goes up for a second with the ball but then look at how fast he gets that elbow to come through and this is such a huge point because i there's so many guys that i see not go with that that ball just spends too much time back behind him there's there's way too much time in this movement and not enough time in this movement right notice how fast he goes back and then coming right back forward He's not spending very much time with that arm back behind him. So really quarterbacks, when you're watching this, you got to really take, look at it and say, I need to do a better job because I'm 90% of the guys that are watching this. If you play quarterback, you're not doing a good enough job of as you bring, you're spending too much time bringing the ball back. There needs to be more of an emphasis on the ball getting forward. There needs to be a very small amount of time spent with the ball going back. Most of the time during the throw, you want to spend with that ball going forward and getting out of your hands right don't spend so much time with that ball going back go spend your time with that ball getting out of your hands and being able to create rotation be able to throw well like that if, if you want the goal is to get to the next level and be able to um or, or to get to the nfl and, and really produce as an nfl athlete you got to be able to get the ball out of your hands and, and generate force 
in getting the ball out of your hands, right? So you have to have that powerful arm. You have to be able to put a lot on the ball and get the ball out of your hands quickly. If you can do both of those things, you have a great chance of, you know, making it because that's what these guys do. There, there's not a lot of wasted motion in their throw. They're so efficient in their movement. It's, it's you know, it's really awesome thing to watch. Here he's looking around a little bit. Decides he's going to throw, and, and as soon as he makes the decision, look at where he goes. He's here. He decides, oh, I'm going to throw. Boom. All of his weight on the balls of his feet. Pulls that, or opens up that left hip, right? Rotates that left hip, gets that weight going forward. Boom. Drives off that back leg, rotates, pulls that, that left hand towards the right chest, drives that right elbow through, gets the ball out of his hand. And it's just that quick that easy notice that posture notice notice how he is when when he fish, finishes at the end now it's weird how he does that that thing with the left leg you know i i don't really know exactly what you could do to master it i don't know what, what you'd want to do to necessarily replicate it the big thing is is that he's getting all of his weight going towards that left leg and really he's finishing with most of his weight on the outside part of the foot which i think is what you want to do um and what he does is he kind of like moves his foot over to the side to kind of allow him some to, to take that on a little bit more. What I'm assuming is what happened is he might have hurt his left ankle, might have hurt his left knee. He might be having some type of, you know, difficulty there. And so he just started doing that as a compensation to make it so he didn't feel as much in those joints because he didn't always do that. That was something, in, and he's had those injury problems where he's had, you know, problems with that that front leg and so he might have done something there and it might just com continually be a nagging thing or maybe he just tried to retrain himself to make it so he uh was able to to play with some pain and you know just said hey you know I, I don't mind this new throwing style i'm just going to stick with it and just continue to do with it because it's a uh it's definitely a unique thing but he does he still does what he's supposed to do he still transfers his weight from his right leg to his left leg he doesn't absorb all the weight in the left leg like what most quarterbacks do and and really what we teach because we think that's the better way to do it instead he like you know takes it and, and like presses back off the ground he ends up still kind of absorbing it but it's just in like an interesting you know jumping and then landing and and being just very um cognizant of that leg as if again like there's pain or something bothering him there so you know I, I still think the overall thought process is you want to get all that weight forward you want to be able to keep your body in that position or get your body in that position all right, guys, as always, let me know if you guys have any questions. I think there's some great information here. I've been really trying to focus on doing more of these, these top guys, you know, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers. You know, we want to really get into some, some unique things that they do and, and really get, go into to some of the throws that they do and, and you know, what makes them the, the best level they can be just because I think that that's where most of the knowledge is going to come from. I mean, you know, we could go and do, we have had people talking about doing Tim Tebow and Colin Kaepernick and, you know, we'll get to doing those guys guys but you know i i just don't believe that you're gonna benefit as much from watching those guys and learning from those guys as you can from getting from learning from the tom brady's aaron Rodgers, because that's where you guys want to be that's the the overall goal that you want to set is to have that quality of mechanics so that's what we want to give to you is, is that high level of, of mechanics as always if you have any questions about our throw program let us know we're happy to help we want more people to be in our throw program obviously i think that there's a lot of benefit that you can get as a quarterback by doing it and uh yeah i mean as always uh we'll talk to you soon and, and thanks for watching the video thank you so much for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed it and if you did you can subscribe down below and that way you can get updates on any of the new videos that we get also if you want to you can check out some of our other breakdowns for speed and throwing we have exercises also jumping mechanics videos a lot of great stuff within our channel hope you enjoy